When you're investing in a solar panel system, maximizing your return on investment is all about making the most of your roof space. This means that it's essential to choose the right panel for your system and ideally cover as large an area of the roof as possible with photovoltaics. However, very few installers actually recommend or take advantage of jumbo solar panels, which are much cheaper and actually allow you to get a higher total system capacity, thus increasing the amount you can generate while decreasing overall installation cost. I'm a technical designer here at Spirit Energy, and in the past few months, I've had a few different projects where opting for a jumbo solar panel has actually increased the client's system output while simultaneously lowering the overall cost. I'm going to show you a few examples and talk about why we went for jumbo solar panels and how they maximized the customer's solar investment. But firstly, what is a jumbo solar panel? Well, in the solar industry, you tend to have standard solar panels and jumbo solar panels. Standard panels are just whatever panels happen to be the industry standard at the moment. In 2025, these are panels like the Ico Neostars, which are around the 470 watt mark and measure 1757 millimeters by 1134 millimeters. There are loads of different panels available in this size from Urena, Trina, Longi, REC, and others. These panels would be the recommended offering from most solar installers. Jumbo panels are, as the name suggests, much larger panels. These would tend to range from 550 to 650 watt peak and are physically much larger than your standard panels. Take the Ico Comet 1N for example. This is a 625 watt solar panel which measures 2323 millimeters by 1134 millimeters. It's actually up to 23.9% efficient, which is better than most of the industry standard panels at the moment. Now, this size of panel is usually used for commercial solar projects. And I'll show you an example of how we maximize the return that Hands Grow UK are getting from their solar investment with jumbo panels later. However, you can also use them for residential projects. So let's take a look at an example for when jumbo solar panels made sense on a residential solar project. This is actually one of my projects. The customer got in touch with me after watching these videos. And if you'd like Spirit to design and install your solar system, then do get in touch with us as well. On the screen now, you can see a scale model of a house with seven ICO solar panels on the roof. The roof here was a bit of a challenge because it can fit seven of the standard 1757 by 1134 ICO 470 watt panels, four portrait panels on the bottom and three portrait on the top giving a total system specification of 3.29 kilowatt peak. However, there's still a lot of redundant space which could be used to generate electricity. So I then checked whether we could fit a row of landscape panels at the bottom. And we could squeeze two on there to increase the total system size to 4.23 kilowatt peak. But it didn't really look very neat, sort of like we played a game of Tetris on the roof. So that's when I looked at using jumbo panels. The larger panels that I looked at using were the Ico Comet 625 watt modules. As you can see, we can only fit seven on the roof. However, that resulted in a total kilowatt peak of 4.375. Going with jumbo panels actually made sense for the back of the roof as well. On screen now is the rear roof designed with nine Ico 470 watt panels. This layout is very tight to the edges of the roof, but it would just about fit with burr protection around the side. The roof can, however, fit seven of the Ico Comet panels, which again ekes out a higher kilowatt peak from the roof while being a more compact system that should also be a bit cheaper to install because fewer panels means less mounting kit. Here's another example where it was beneficial to use jumbo panels instead of standard panels. This roof can fit 16 of the 625 watt panels on it, which totals 10 kilowatt peak. Alternatively, we could fit 21 470 watt panels, totaling 9.87 kilowatt peak. The 16 panel layout reaches a slightly higher system output and it's cheaper to install. You may think that jumbo panels cost a lot more as well, but that's actually not the case. They are more expensive per panel, but when it comes to cost per watt, they're actually about one pence per watt cheaper at 12.9 pence compared to the industry standard Ico Neostar 2 units, which are 13.9 pence. 
So in this case, the 16 panels will cost £1,290. However, the 21 ICO 470 panels will cost £1,372. That's before accounting for the mounting cost as well. Remember that with less panels, you need less mounting kit. So it then becomes even more cost effective to use these larger panels. Now let's take a look at Hansgrohe's UK headquarters in Warwick. In April 2024, my colleague started designing the solar system and originally specified a 240 panel system totaling 107 kilowatt peak using standard sized 430 watt panels. Following a site visit further down the line, she realized that we'd be able to fit much larger 595 watt JA solar panels on the roof. She worked out that while we wouldn't be able to fit quite so many of these, only 212 in total, the larger panels will enable hands grower to get a larger surface area and therefore increasing the panel size brought the total system rating from 107 kilowatt peak up to 126.14 kilowatt peak, which is what we settled on for the final specification. There are two things to watch out for, however. Firstly, you do need to check the certification as many panels of this size are not MCS certified. Jumbo panels are typically used for commercial projects and large commercial projects do not require MCS certification. ICO Comets are MCS certified, which is why I'd recommend those. They're also highly efficient. Secondly, jumbo panels are rarely all black, especially the really big ones like the ICO Comet. So if you do go down this route, then you're probably not going to be able to get an all black panel. They also don't work with in-roof systems as the in-roof systems available are all designed for use with the industry standard panels that measure about 1.7 by 1.1 meters. It's definitely worth exploring these panels with a local installer. And if you're within two and a half hours of Reading, then do get in touch with Spirit Energy. And this is one of the options that we explore with our clients. What you may find is that many installers, particularly the larger national chains, won't be able to offer these larger panels. Their business model works by buying containers of panels at a time and rolling those out for every project. So they may not be able to accommodate these panels, even if they're optimal for your system, which is why we'd always recommend getting a quote from your local solar specialist. It's really important to explore different options like these in order to get the best return from your roof. If you're looking at getting solar and battery storage and are within two hours of Reading, please do get in touch with Spirit Energy or if you'd like me to personally design and quote for your project, then drop me an email. Also check out our other videos to learn about all things solar and battery in the UK.